Hope the next match lives up to the hype of the rest of the card. Tag team action on the way. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. It'll be the Dudley boys against the Alliance. Big time matchup. Seventy-two pounds, Bubba Ray Dudley and Devin Dudley. As we get ready for this tag team match, Byron, tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael, you know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other.
opponents. At a combined weight of 395 pounds, Mike E. The Wick Rex and Ted Jerry The Alliance. Both legal men are in the ring oh. and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action. Ouch. Here he goes. Is he done? He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. talk about great tag teams we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers Stevens and Patterson Stevens and Bachwinkle the Texas Outlaws the Briscoes the Blackjacks the Andersons and the list goes on and on when you're part of a tag team the two partners have to travel together train together eat together and be completely in sync with one another tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. He wants no part of the outside. We might just see it here. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing 
creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. Back in from the apron. Oh. <laughs> Talk about dismantling your opponent. He might have it. He's definitely starting to lose it here. He's starting to... Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. tag team contest a superstar and partner lock up against another duo unless there's a special stipulation added to the match the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall submission count out or disqualification this is what makes him one of the best in the business in off the tag in a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent, or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron, the partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. Stop being 
such a tattletale, Cole. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Not even close. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. And he doesn't stay down for long. How in the world? He's starting to show signs of fatigue. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. This is exactly the opening Ooh. his opponent was looking for. It wasn't easy to find, but hey, he found it. Finally. Looks like he wants back in this match. That certainly looks to be the case, Michael. Three. Bringing it back between the ropes. Michael. Beautiful technique. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. And a pin attempt. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. gentlemen that's a very big win here tonight what we just saw there was a doctorate class in tag team competition they just took the game to a whole other level the crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts what a great match